And we have to do the newspapers, and uh, we start with a daily graphic. Gifty, mm. please start with a daily graphic. Seriously? Yes, yeah, okay. seriously. <laughs> okay, I'm saying seriously because we have agreed on something. Anyway, <laughs> I've got a daily graphic with me, and the daily graphic comes with a picture of which chief is that? Nana Efa Opinam. Opinamang the third, the Obaming Hene, welcoming President Kufuado to his introduction uh, ceremony. Uh, that picture is by Douglas Anani from Paul. Uh, credit due to who it, uh, credit to who it is due. It comes with that picture, as you can see, and the story is. President on fight against Galam Say, no witch hunt of Chinese, but campaign meant to stop wrongdoing. And that story is on page three. Another story on the front page is government rolls out 104 policies. That's according to Veep, and you know that that's coming from the town hall meeting uh, organized by Joy News uh, yesterday. Illegal miners turn in 75 excavators. That's according to the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, John Peter Meu. That story is on page 16. And then another story, uh, Dr. Oswe Fuye Akoto, who is the Minister of Food and Agriculture's picture, comes with that story. It says, government unveils ambitious agri program in Gosso tomorrow. And that story also is on page 3, uh, page 16, I beg your pardon. Um, let's look at the back page. Osu, got traditional councils. OK, Marine Drive project. And uh, so this project is a million dollar project to develop parts of a core coastal lines into a tourism enclave. And the two traditional councils poured libations, slaughtered two cows, two sheep and two goats last Thursday to appease the goals for the developer to start clearing the area for the sword cutting ceremony. That story is on the back page and... Um, it's the, obviously the, uh, the Minister of Tourism was there, Madam Catherine Afeku uh, was there. Um, I'm not even going to go into the uh, center spread before, but uh, there's a very interesting picture here. Perhaps I can just raise it up a bit. It says, Revelers enjoy Easter festivities. And you know, uh, our sister station, Adum FM, organized a Kwewu Kwewu trip. Uh, these are pictures as well that's been put together by the Daily Graphic. Um, I don't know if you can see properly, but yeah, there it is. Very beautiful. But you can grab yourself a copy of the Ghanaian, of the daily uh, graphic and get to see what there is. In the center spread, by the way, is dedicated. The center spread is dedicated to the fight against Ghanam Sea. Regulating small-scale mining, the Tanzanian example. And it's a feature here that's... Uh, yeah, it's a feature here that's written by uh, Doce Kobla Aklobotu uh, from Sekendi Takradi, which has been hardly hit by the activities of Galamse illegal small-scale mining. So if you look at that, it comes with that picture of that huge machine, that huge Chinese machine that's on the river and cobra uh, that we don't know exactly what what uh, what it is and how it was assembled. <laughs> uh, yeah, on the Very blind surprising, side. Huh? On the blind side of everybody. I mean, oh, I supposing, yes, yeah, supposing it was on the blind Side of everybody. Even on the black so, side of the chiefs of the of the nearby community. It's 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 strange. It's <laughs> I don't know what this machine is about, but it, it's just mind boggling. But anyway, it doesn't uh, mind. this feature attempt, I believe, attempts to highlight That's what, what they use in washing after the 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 gold. And it will surprise you to know that they have they will have um. Uh, they have everything equipment. There. There's, yes. There's, there's, there are, there are yes. The toilet facilities. In really. There. Yeah. So, so <laughs> what, where, 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 where does the, the human excreta go? Right back into the water. Yeah. Oh, my dear Lord. Anyway. I'm, I'm sure people would drink it in some communities yes, downstream. Because, yes, because it's a source of water to most of the communities along the, the, the banks. Yeah. And it's quite sad. You can't do this in China. You really can't. But anyway, uh, the law will take, the, the law will take, take its course. The <laughs> law will take its course. That. So I believe that this feature uh, highlights the Tanzanian experience, what Tanzania did with their own illegal uh, small-scale mining and what we can learn from that. This quick one so that I wrap up on this newspaper. It says, no foreigner can move heavy equipment through, through thousands of policemen manning checkpoints to the bush and water bodies in Côte d'Ivoire, Mali, and Burkina Faso. And these are countries that learn a lot from us anyway, so why can't we learn from them, by the way? And another highlighter here says, Tanzania has been very successful in organizing the operators within the small-scale mining sector, which has a formidable front with well-informed leaders. That perhaps is a starting point. Mm. But we're still, ha we're still on the fight against Galamse anyway, Roland. Yeah.
Do you grab yourself a copy anyway? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and try to get more it. insight into Definitely. what has, has been put mm -hmm. in the center spread. Uh, we have the Ghanaian Times as on the front page. So one, one more day, stop Galamse, the hashtag, and media coalition against Galamse. Government's ultimatum to illegal miners uh, just a day okay. um, to the main events or the day that they all have to stop Galamse. I don't know. Uh, illegal mining. Hmm. in the small skill sector needs to be clamped down. Small skill mining is not being banned. I think that we need to make sure that the messages um, get to the right ears. Uh, ultimatum to illegal miners will not be extended, according to John Peter Ameu, who is the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources. And uh, 800 GES staff want date of birth changed. 800, okay. Why do they want the dates changed? Let me... Maybe the dates were wrong. They got mm. their parent got the dates wrong from the beginning, perhaps, mm. Mm. or maybe some people want that. But what, what, what's the story? Maybe we can get the first paragraph the and then give page, us an understanding. Uh, 18, I believe. Okay. Page eighteen. Mm. So, so on on page eighteen, it says um, the Ghana Education Service has been burdened with requests by some teachers asking for changes in their date of birth. More than eight hundred staff are so far applying to the GES management to have their dates changed since last year. While some wanted their dates adjusted up, while others have petitioned the year to reduce theirs for reasons yet to be known by the service. I don't know. Are you saying the year in which they were born? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's really interesting to know the reasons why they want to change the mm. dates. Maybe uh, they lost their birth certificate. Maybe, you know, most people who were born back in the days don't have credible birth certificate. Sometimes they don't, they even, don't even know, know when the, they were the born they exactly were born. because yeah, they weren't true. taken to uh, the hospital. It's they weren't true. given birth to in the hospital, etc. So it'll be interesting to know the reason why. But a lot of what people argue will be that they want to stay in the service much longer than the <laughs> some required extra, some yes. extra year. Yes, or exactly. Two or three. Maybe so than the to go beyond mm. the um, uh, retirement to, age. I used to work with a certain man like that. <laughs> you can <laughs> physically see that the man was old. But he wasn't up to sixty. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you that, could, that's you not could, to say. You that's could, could physically see that the man was very old. <laughs> Could but, barely but, walk but, but, but that's wrong. That's wrong. You can you can't you can't judge people's okay. age by the way they look. If you see the man. No, come on. Come on. I mean, old. What, what, how old are you, Roland? Eh? How old are you? Me. Mm. Just, like, come on, just but like my, my real age or my <laughs> football age. <laughs> I didn't know you had football age. Your real age. I mean you can't judge people by the way mm. they look. You can't judge by their uh, their ages by the way they look. But I think it'll be very interesting. It's alarming. If eight hundred people want to change their their, their dates of birth, it's it's really alarming, and we need to know why they want to do that. Mm. You know, to beyond wow. just wanting to stay in service for longer we'll see, than we'll the see how that goes with many other people. Mm. All right, so we have uh, the main stories on the front page of the Ghanaian Times. Uh, more than 103 achievements recorded in 100 days, uh, mm. the, according to the Vice President. And again, uh, the event has dominated uh, the news because virtually on, on Easter Monday there was nothing. There was nothing. And so they just had to make sure they clawed mm. uh, back all the contents. It's all about setting the, the agenda, yeah. really. Yes, yeah, true. Uh, and true. you can trust your news to set the agenda That's all so. the time. And you were there yesterday. Of course, of how, course. How was the event, I should say? I, I was watching it from TV. It, it was good. It was good. Uh, except that people, a lot of people had more questions than we couldn't take mm -hmm. those questions. But uh, it was, I mean, many, most people had the opportunity to ask their questions. I said, I think, I think about one, two, three people. Did we know about the, the questions time, before? Or? Some of them, yes. Uh, especially those on social media. Okay. Because then we picked them no, up. No, I mean those from the selected no, groupings. And no. Okay. No, we you didn't, didn't know, know about the questions. Well, by the way, selected, okay. of course, but we didn't know about the questions. The questions uh, right. No, we didn't. Except for social media, like I said, because you had to go through them and pick, mm -hmm. pick, pick mm -hmm. out some of them. But of course, there are people who sent uh, WhatsApp videos that we played asking their wow. questions, of course. And I think it, it was a great thing. It was a yes. great thing. I have the daily guide with me. We'll move on with the daily guide. Uh, and it's, uh, of course, that story again dominates the, the uh, headline. Um, the, the newspaper, Daily Guide, NPP scores 103 goals in 100 days. Uh, Dr. Mahmoud Obamia answering questions at the town hall meeting yesterday. That said that it w there was one he didn't write, so that so was 104. So 104, actually, I've yes. That one. <laughs> we didn't forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's his, uh, that story is on pages six, uh, 3 and 6. So you can grab yourself a copy of the Daily Guide and read that story. Nana meets former presidents. I, uh, let's see, what is that story? 
Uh, it doesn't show exactly where the story is, but it comes with pictures of uh, former President Rawlings, former President Kufour, former President John Mahama, and I still don't know where that story is, by the way. But if I could just go quickly through it. Uh, <laughs> We're looking for... The meeting with the former president. Yes, I'll find it. But in the meantime, whilst I look for it, there's a lame horse parable. You can trust the uh, Akosia to bring you the uh, cartoons. Uh, lame. Oh, oh no, Giono has appeared again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh no, Giono, oh no, po. Oh no, Giono. Okay, actually, someone did send me feedback that I love too much, so I'm trying to control uh, it. Yeah, this, they sent your feedback that you love that too much. That I love too much, okay. so I'm trying to control <laughs> it. Anyway, so that... Uh, so the, I shouldn't be laughing then. Uh, Roland. <laughs> the cartoon says, lame horse parable. And if you know what they're talking about, they're talking about President uh, uh, Mohammed's reasons for the defeat of uh, the NDC in 2016, the 2016 election. So that story of NPP scoring 103 goals is there, but the lame horse is inserted there somewhere. Ex Nana, uh, Nana meets ex president. The first paragraph says President Nana Gufado is set to host all is set to host all former presidents today, in what many have hailed as a positive step for the country's okay, forward march. So the event is taking march. place. It's today. taking place today. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So yeah, we'll keep tabs on that and bring you all the updates there. All there, right. So we there. have the Daily Dispatch newspaper. It's the next report we're looking at how Papa Kwesi Doom lost two million dollars during Rollins' era. And uh, we also have you can vote, you can vote MPP out in 2020 over Galamse fight minister. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, the vice president list of MPP's 103 achievements. Again, I told you the news media just couldn't have done anything, anything without else. <laughs> <laughs> what happened of yesterday. Course. 100 days put together by mm. Joy News. All right, great event it was. That's it for you? Mm, that's it. Okay. So the finder, I have the finder. The finder says, GES stops teachers from changing date of birth. So that story is on page four. And it's the same story that we, we referred to previously in the Ghanaian Times. Uh, uh, sounds like a very interesting story that's trending, by the way. Uh, Ghana's growth to pick up, according to the IMF. But the biggest headline there, of course, is we chalk 103 feet in 100 days, of course, the story uh, by... Uh, the story from yesterday's town hall meeting and uh, just below that is Samira charging women to push for legislative reforms uh, she was making a presentation uh, at a particular program that story is on page five and another a very disturbing story uh, on the final newspaper in the final newspaper is that court remands dad for injuring son with hot water and that picture makes me cringe it just makes me cringe it looks like I mean, it's burnt body, part of a burnt body, and it's it looks really, really depressing. Um, <coughs> but all of those stories are on page four, page two and eleven, uh, page five, and Balmier's story, Doctor Balmier's story on page eight. Grab yourself a copy, would you, and have a look at it. If I could quickly look at the center spread, okay, that's a it's an advert, so we can move on. Okay, so we have. Um the last paper, I believe, the Business and Financial Times has a story. GT Bank backs another international recognition, wins a CFI Best Digital Banking Ghana 2017 award. And CFI basically means Capital Finance International uh, UK. Uh, financial sector mergers in the wind as industry away stated capital increase. We're told that the stated capital uh, uh, for banks would now be increased um, to about, uh, is it 250 million, I'm told? Oh, the last time I read. But it says that although the central bank is yet to announce by how much it will increase stated minimum capital for banks, some players in the sector have said they are open to and have begun talks on mergers and acquisitions in order to build stronger financial institutions. Uh, Dr. Niko Tejani, president of Group Ideal, which includes a savings and loans company, a finance house and others, said the company is in talks with one or two banks for a takeover. We are ready to acquire a bank and transform it to meeting the expected increment in the stated minimum capital. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> 50,000 right. ghost names yanked off payroll. And the Minister for Finance, Ken Oforiata, has revealed that apparently government has successfully removed about 50,000 fictitious names from its payroll and the pensions payroll 
of snakes <laughs> whenever we're going to have the subject of um, fictitious names on apparel going on the back oh, page. Oh, but I think that government is working on it. I mean, the um, the NDC started something, yes. and I think the NPP is building through, on that, which is a good thing. Through their system, gift yes, and all yes, that. Yes, yes, which is a good uh, Tax cuts, city stability, uh, fetter inflation, and then we have uh, volunteering access bank employees, impact over 160 communities. And you can see them there with some sewing machines donated by Access Bank Techimain in the Bonavu region. Okay. That'll be it for the newspapers. We can now there proceed online. Yes. So now let's go online and give to you. Um, we'll do uh, my job online. We'll look at the stories there. Majorline.com will be on your screen shortly, and it is. There it is. So ask Balmia, hashtag ask Balmia tweets. 100 days town hall meeting with Dr. Balmia. That's that story that we've all been talking about. And so the next story will be Ghana to reduce sulfur levels in fuel to 50 ppm from July 1st. And you do remember that, if you recall, that story came uh, from a UK-based newspaper about the extent or the the extent of uh, sulfur in the kind of fuels that were being exported to Africa and to Ghana that there were other African countries that were able to regulate it but uh, we weren't so mm. appear, it appears that the NPP administration is doing something about it but they say they have to give people some time because it's an impulse mm. thing so give people some time to work on it and do, they're doing that by July which is a good thing um, the next story will be we didn't make promises all about Balmia really we didn't make promises for 100 days in office that's according to Dr. Balmia and the next story will be nobody can prevent change Embrace it, Bagwin advises the NDC. Second Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Aban Bagwin, says the change that took place in the country during the December 2016 polls was normal. And uh, sounds like an interesting comment, and I'd, I would love to read the entire story so we can understand it. But anyway, we can move on to the next story. But you can, you can just click on that story later on and uh, read and, and understand what, where he's coming from. It will be interesting to hear... Uh, the other things that he says on the back of change, uh, Alvin Bagwin, if you recall, there were a few issues between himself and uh, access to President Mahama at the time that they were in government, and it became a, a full-blown case, but I think they worked on it some way, somehow. Anyway, uh, Balmia releases one day, one achievement in 100 days of change <laughs> lecture. Okay, we can move on since we know a lot more about that story already. In 100 days of change, we have arrested the city. And he says the keys are with the uh, IGP. Okay, that final story on uh, myjoyonline.com will be a Kufuado trucker, 100 days. Is the president throwing more dust than opportunities? President Kufuado took the... So, so, sounds like an opinion. Uh, you can take your time and read. What, can we look at the top story? The top story, obviously, is about the town hall meeting. Uh, and the feature, the top story, is all about uh, uh, the 100 days. All sets for Joy News' 100 days. Okay, that's an old story. Uh, Agbo Bloshi Clash, security agencies, strategies, unsatisfactory. That's by Ayene. It's also an old story. CTFM mm. online. So we go to CTFM online, and it says Ghana must ensure fiscal discipline according to the IMF. Gifty. Mm, we've suspended issuance of mining licenses, according to Dr. Baumia. And that story obviously is coming from yesterday's town hall meeting again. Easter orphan project. Bernard Jessica inspires students. And Bernard, very uh, nice gentleman. And they've been out and about sharing uh, on Easter. We made no 100 days promises, but we, and it goes on and on. Those are stories from our, our uh, program yesterday, anyway. Aubrey Pong writes, the mystery of Takradi's shopping mall that never was. Looks like a, an opinion as well. You can read those stories. The business, Ghana must, uh, okay, we've read that already, haven't we? And that'll be it for uh, um, CTFM as well. We can touch base with the BBC, Roland. So we go to the Africa page of the BBC. It's a floor bag saved boat crash survivor. Hmm. And, and apparently an elderly man who clung to a bag of uh, maize flies among 54 survivors 
of a boat accident in Malawi. Mm. Tragic incident. That's there, but it's interesting that he's alive. Mm. And that he you was go able up, we have other stories on sports. Zamalek fans demand chairman quits. And then UK funding to fight tropical diseases. Uh, we have Burns lose a WBA barrel to Indongo. And street children worker acquitted in Egypt. Mm. Okay. okay, thousands saved off Libyan coast. Refreshing to know that more and more people aren't dying, but that they're being saved. But the point is that people keep trooping. People keep taking on that deadly journey. Mm -hmm. But nothing seems to be stopping them, even though a lot of people die. Is it that they don't hear the news? I don't I'm, Well, I they don't do, know. but they need to survive. It's, uh, really? Mm. Anyway, the woman standing up to Boko Haram is one of the stories there. You can read it for yourself. U.S. troops to fight against Al-Shabaab. Al-Shabaab is in Somalia. African uh, World War II veterans become French citizens. Is that so? Okay. Egypt's shaking cops mark Good Friday. And the rest is all about football. Life advice from a 117-year-old is there as well. A good sommelier is a good storyteller. That story is there as well. Should Zambian food, uh, ba Zambia ban food imports? That's a question I believe is an opinion. And inside the Nigerian floods full of cash. And that, those pictures have been trending on social media quite a lot. Apparently, it's uh, a minister's house. I'm not really sure if it is, but the, that story is there on the BBC Africa page. I paddle across a lake to school. That story is very familiar to us here in Ghana. By the way, it appears that it's more of an African story rather than a, <laughs> yeah, rather than a, well, a peculiar story to any particular African country. It yeah. cuts across more like. Well, true. Uh, I, I guess uh, we all have the same kind of socio-economic characteristics or features. Well, some people just have because done of the underdevelopment better. we tend to experience. Some people have done better. We yes, yes, do better as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's Actually, it for the newspaper. We should have done better. Hopefully, we will. With time. We'll take it a break. When we come back, we'll be doing sports, and better details will be around here. Do stay on.